So there I sat and smoked my cigar, until I lapsed into thought. Among other thoughts, I remember these. You are going on, I said to myself, to become an old man, without being anything, and without really undertaking to do anything. On the other hand, whatever you look about you in literature and in life, you see the celebrated names and figures, the precious and much heralded men who are coming into prominence and are much talked about. The many benefactors of the age who know how to benefit mankind by making life easier and easier. Some by railways, others by omnibuses and steamboats. Others by the telegraph, others by easily apprehended compendiums and short recitals of everything worth knowing. And finally, the true benefactors of the age who make spiritual existence in virtue of thought easier and easier, yet more and more significant. And what are you doing? Here my soliloquy was interrupted, or my cigar was smoked out and a new one had to be lit. So I smoked again and then suddenly this thought flashed through my mind. You must do something. But in as much as with your limited capacities, it will be impossible to make anything easier than it has become. You must, with the same humanitarian enthusiasm as the others, undertake to make something harder. Well, this notion pleased me immensely, and at the same time, it flattered me to think that I, like the rest of them, would be loved and esteemed by the whole community. And when all combined in every way to make everything easier, there remains only one possible danger. Namely, that the ease becomes so great that it becomes altogether too great. Then there is only one want left, though it's not yet a felt want when people will want difficulty. Out of love for mankind, and out of despair at my embarrassing situation, seeing that I had accomplished nothing, and I was unable to make anything easier than had already been made, and moved by a genuine interest in those to make everything easy, I conceived it as my task to create difficulties everywhere. <laughs>